Welcome to the Weekly Recap. I'm Laura Light. State Representative Dave Henson, whose district includes parts of Sullivan, pleaded guilty to DWI on July 30th. Henson was charged after hitting a parked state vehicle in Jefferson City this past February. In a statement, Henson accepted responsibility for his actions, quote, At the time of the incident, I was receiving treatment for possible esophageal cancer and was taking prescription medication known to cause drowsiness. Henson finished his statement by apologizing to his family and his caucus. Now, an update to the story we brought you last week. Marcus Corey, the Rolla man recently charged with two counts of first-degree child welfare endangerment, was sentenced to five years in prison for possession of a controlled substance. He entered a guilty plea just minutes before his trial was set to begin on July 30th. The charge stemmed from an incident last November when Rolla police found Percocet in Corey's pocket with no prescription. Two friends from Rolla are cashing in on the recent Missouri Lottery Show Me Cash jackpot. Carla Keegan and Vanessa Wiseman purchased their winning ticket from the Casey's General Store in Rolla on August 4th. The drawing was held the same day and the duo claimed their prize at Lottery Headquarters in Jefferson City on August 5th. The friends will each take home over $334,000 before taxes. Both are planning to purchase new vehicles, pay bills, and put their remaining amounts into savings. Now with more local news, here's Matt Wacker. The driver of this 2000 Freightliner tractor trailer headed eastbound on August 3rd was seriously injured. According to the Missouri State Highway Patrol, 58-year-old Zvetan Stefanochki was driving near mile marker 183 when the crash occurred. The semi went off the right side of the interstate, struck a ditch, and then caught on fire. The driver was removed from the burning cab by bystanders and taken to the hospital. The cause of the fire is unknown at this time. A St. James man says he was arrested for having a yard sale. Christopher Boyd's yard sale took place on July 24th. According to Boyd, someone complained to the police department about nearly hitting a parked car on his street. Sergeant Chris Pig responded by distributing cones to prevent further parking. After Boyd moved the cones, he and the officer exchanged words, which ended with Boyd in handcuffs. Boyd was issued a citation and released at the police station. The citation calls for Boyd to appear in court on September 16th for violating the city ordinance stating that all yard sale holders must obtain a free permit from the St. James Police Department. And finally, I am proud to announce the upcoming schedule for this year's newly branded Ozark Conference Game of the Week. It will feature eight conference matchups, all in high definition, beginning August 21st when the Rolla Bulldogs take a trip down the interstate to visit the Lebanon Yellow Jackets. Keep an eye out for the Local 6 mobile production trailer and prepare yourself for some exciting varsity football action this fall. From all of us here at Local 6, I'm Matt Wacker. Thanks for watching the Weekly Recap.